What's up everybody? It's Laura, that or V-Girl, and I'm standing in front of the Grand Design Imagine AIM 15B8. Now, this model number doesn't do it justice because it is so much more than a BH, and I will show you why, but first, let's take a look at the storage here on the outside. This is gonna be the main exterior storage that you have, and this is actually all right underneath your bed. Now, you can access it from the inside, you can access it from this area on the rear, and you can also access it through this side as well. Really, so much storage space. Watch this. See what I mean? So much storage. <laughs> now I have to get out. Okay, enough fooling around, let's head inside. All right, coming in off of your solid steps, right away to the left is gonna be your washroom. Now, remember when I said that the BH wasn't giving this model total justice? Well, that's pretty much because it doesn't have to be a BH. It doesn't have to be a bunkhouse if you don't want it to be. And what they've done is they've given you this super easy flip up bunk that is on a strut. So look at how easy that was. All right, more about that later, but let's get into this beautiful front kitchen. All right, now, if you know me, you may know already that I am a sucker for a front kitchen. And this model's only 19 foot 11 overall length, but we have so much space up here in the front kitchen, it doesn't feel like an under 20 foot trailer. We've got windows on both sides here, plenty of counter space. Honestly, sometimes more counter space than you find in those big bunkhouse models. And they've given you a really nice deep stainless steel sink with the collapsible drying rack. So much easier to kind of store away when not in use. We've also got plenty of storage above, and then we've also got a lot of storage below. Now you will notice there is one feature that you find in the larger travel trailers, not in this one, but to some of you that doesn't even matter. And what that is, is an oven, but you do have a convection style microwave oven. So if you wanna do any roasting, honestly, even like a little baking kind of, right above there, you'll find your two burner stove top. So instead of the three burners where it's a little difficult sometimes to actually fit all your pots and pans anyways, they've given you a larger surface area split between two burners. And then you've still got this hood vent here, which is so important, especially when you're in a little space. Though, like I said, we've got tons of windows. So windows on either side. This is the storage right above. So we've got storage going all along this whole area of the kitchen. And then they've even provided more cubby storage on either side. And these are those premium wood core cabinet doors. And you'll notice we've got outlets on either side of the countertops here. In addition to all of that storage above, we've got plenty of storage below. All right, now let's take a look at the fridge. Now, usually in the smaller size trailers, you get a fridge with a freezer compartment, but what they've actually done is given you a 6.3 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. So this is gonna be your fridge. And then they provided you with the drawer below for your freezer. So they've kept it separate, which I can really appreciate in such small a space. Above, we've got your TV. That'll come out on a swivel so you can access that from your bed or from the dinette. Kind of comfortably view it wherever you are in the trailer. And then, I mean, check out this little area of storage. And it goes all the way back. And then we've got a whole hanging space in here as well. So if you need room to hang your clothes, you can do that. Or if you'd prefer to keep this as a pantry style wardrobe, you can do that as well. There you go. And below this main wardrobe, we've got three drawers. And these ones go quite deep as well. All right, now let's talk the dinette. Now this is your standard booth dinette. Very comfortable, great location. We've got the TV, kitchen behind us huge window here. Now you will notice there is a, maybe a little lack of windows on the campsite, but in a trailer this size, you're likely gonna be spending most of your time outside. But what I love is that we have so much natural light in such a small space. Not to mention, once we open this window here, we'll have a great cross breeze with the windows in the kitchen as well. Instead of having two posts below me or that split post and the little hook into the wall here, they've actually given you a hydraulic leg. So I've already gone ahead and just opened up the latches below. So now 
it's going to operate similar to those dream dinettes that you may have seen where I can just press and it will settle down into place. Once I'm ready to have it back in dining mode, I release those latches and... Ta-da! These are those two latches that I spoke about. So now that I have it back in its dining position, I'm just gonna close these two. And now we've got a firm table. All right, now let's talk washing. This is actually another feature that I love about this trailer. It may be small, but it's not a wet bath and I still have all the amenities I need. We've got a mirrored medicine cabinet. Now they've given you this hideaway style sink, similar to what you see in camper vans. So you don't have to wash your hands in the kitchen or in the shower. Our toilet was placed strategically kind of right in this area here. So not a whole ton of leg space, but they've given you the most that they possibly can. They've also given you a window, which I really appreciate. So you've got extra ventilation in here, though we do have a small electric fan above us. And then stepping into the shower, they've given us a skylight for added headroom. And then they put your shower door, that shower curtain kind of on a track. And it's this little waterproof type of material here. And I mean, as always, We've got little shower on a wand here. All right, now we're on the queen size bed. It is a true 60 by 80 corner queen size bed. You do have a decent amount of space to crawl in and I love how they've still given you a window. The bunk right now is in its upright position, which again, this is why I meant it's not really a bunk model because you don't have bunk beds interjecting into your space and you've still got tons of headroom in here. We've got a max air fan right above us. We've got a window to the left of us and then they've given you this kind of shelving storage here which is directly above our outlets so you can still charge your devices tuck them away in the shelves here or just leave them on the bed next to you and for when the bunk is down we've got lights on this lower portion but we also have a light just directly above now let's head up to the bunk all right here we are in the top bunk and there's still plenty of space up here now we don't have a window but because it's so open i feel like it's really not necessary we're really close to the max air fan so we still have great ventilation up here we've got our own light and remember this storage shelf right here well we actually have our own usb charger up here as well so those sleeping on the queen bed down below can have access to the lower portion of the shelf and then those sleeping up here have a designated spot up top all right, now that we've had a chance to take in all there is to offer on the inside, let's head back outside for one last look and a bonus feature. All of that on the inside, and there's even one more treat for you on the outside, and that is your outdoor griddle. As the greats once said, it's all right to be little bitty, but it's the grand design Imagine AIM 15BH.